Yeah, this is Ryan Clinton, the Hip Hop Hercules, the Hip Hop Historian, and I'm here to review the highly anticipated new album by Kendrick Lamar entitled To Pimp a Butterfly. Let's get it reviewed. What's up? There is funky samples, live instruments, jazzy full band swing, even the simple boom bap drums use new levels of treble and morphing to sound incredible with the accompanying bass line. This album has a whole new level of production. It cannot really be compared to another record as a whole. It is a new hip hop sound created from every genre of music prior. This album, even to the title, is about darkening the light. It is about people's ability to use vices, discrimination, and their opinions to lessen the appeal of something so beautiful. He is taking an idea that was touched upon by Run DMC, made incredibly clear by groups like OutKast, and has now perfected it. Kendrick Lamar speaks as those who are being brought down by others, those who control the minds of creativity, and those who will not stand for hatred. He takes his stance on his psychological process by using examples all the way from slavery to record company executives. His writing is unimaginable when it comes to creativity, scholarly observations, and heartfelt passion. His flow is not boxed in by any sense or fashion possible. Whatever the instrument or style of the song, he either goes with it perfectly in sync or creates his own rhythmic version to match it. The tempo and speed is completely based on his writing and vocabulary, making for an amazing sound every single verse. This record exceeds every MC's statements on vanity, greed, corruption, and the horrors of the game who have ever touched the microphone. This will give birth to a new expectation and fan-desired sound in the hip-hop world. Within his first few albums, he has, without the slightest idea, placed himself as the greatest young MC in the game, fighting for one of the top slots in history. Real talk.